This is a video I'm going to make of OS2 running in virtual PC. I recently installed OS2 Web version 4. <coughs> Let's start it out. Full screen mode. My first impression of OS2 is that basically it's not very user friendly. I was kind of disappointed in this issue. I, I was looking for more because I've, I've had some experience with Linux in the past and basically it's uh, you might say that it's, it's very unfriendly, even unfriendlier than Linux. But Overall, it's very slick and um, it has a, a very good uh, support for for software, at least for its time. And it's easier to set up than Linux. Most of my hardware was detected. I did have some difficulty in setting up uh, internet connection, but I, I managed to overcome this issue. Luckily, I'm running under a virtual PC, so I, I didn't have to uh, to uh, manage too much of uh, drivers and, uh, and stuff. I am running this on an IBM ThinkCenter machine, although I doubt that it could run without virtual PC because most of, of the hardware is newer than the operating system, and I, I don't believe there is any drivers available for this since IBM does not support OS2 anymore so this is OS2 war version 4 the kernel is called Merlin I believe this is a new concept introduced in uh, OS2 warp I believe it, it's some kind of a controlling mechanism such as the dock in OS 10 or uh, it is al also visible in uh, operating systems like AIX or anything that is C CDE Windows environment based because IBM also developed that concept so it must have gotten there uh, from OS 2 this this allows you to easily launch programs you frequently use such, such as uh, the uh, command prompt which is uh, still widely used in OS2 very much like it was in uh, Windows thr Windows 3.1 the shredder which is some kind of a recycle bin constant concept I'm unfamiliar, I'm unfamiliar with um, I just delete stuff I don't know what, what it does this is the information center where, where you can get all your uh, help and uh, questions answered uh, I find it to be uh, not very intuitive and straightforward there, there is a, a very graphical tutorial let's go into it Although it's very nicely packaged, I can't find answers for uh, basic stuff like how to get uh, online, uh, set up my network card, and and DOS questions and stuff. But it's very nice. You can see that it, there was some uh, some thinking done here about uh, how to approach new users and stuff, but. I still don't uh, don't find it very useful. There's uh, a bunch of uh, outdated uh, shortcuts like software updates, which which leads you to a, to a IBM website that tells you that OS2 support has ended and uh, stuff like that. Um, connections is uh, <coughs> links to ver vir vir various websites that deal with um, common stuff like computing you can see that 
Corel website, Adobe, Gameland, whatever that is, and various links. Also some BBS stuff that's no longer active. Programs, of course, let, lets you launch uh, launch m most uh, popular programs you have here install. Multimedia, for instance, I have here a compact disc, volume controller, sound, and also a few examples of uh, such files. Let's go to movies. I can load um, a movie file they include in you know, it's to work. It's very famous, actually. Most of you must know it. Two parrots. Okay, enough with that. Um, one thing though, I can't seem to play me MIDI files. I have no idea why. I double click and just they don't play. Wave wave files do, or however play. How do you play? Oh, yeah. Only MIDI file. I have no idea why. Of course, there are some images and some wallpapers. TCP/IP is very big issue here. I don't have idea. I have no idea why it requires so much software and and shortcuts and stuff. But I guess it was an important thing back then. Java games. It comes with. Uh, an OS2 chess program and a very very nice clone like Solitaire which is basically your Solitaire version of Windows only a lot more sophisticated you have here a autoplay and and cheats I don't know what and it's, it, it was created by IBM one funny thing about it though is that I can actually beat this game. In Windows, for some reason, sometimes you get stuck, and here I didn't get stuck so far. So that's game. Um, in applications, there's a bundled uh, Office Suite program that call, that's called IBM Works. There's a word processor, spreadsheet, chart, database, and stuff. It's basically not very useful because it's it's uh, rather old and it doesn't have Hebrew support for it, so, so it's pretty useless for, to me as I need Hebrew for school. I installed. Okay, basically, you get uh, with the operating system this web browser that's called Web Explorer, which is very, very, very old web browser. I don't believe it even it, it was created by IBM because the credit says com commercial let's go there again commercial internet products team so I guess it was it, it was uh, o ordered by IBM but from some external company outsourcing whatever it's very old. I can't seem to load very uh, any web pages because it, the rendering engine engine is very old, and so it, it asks me to either save files to my hard disk. I don't. I have no idea what what kind of files, or um, it just gets stuck in an endless connect loop or whatever. So this is very old. I did install. Luckily, I, I managed to get it installed. The newer version of the browser by IBM. It's called IBM Web Browser version 2.0.3 or whatever.